Okie dokie, hi, welcome back, we are playing TFT, and from the arguably terrible pun of the title of this video, you may or may not be able to tell that today I want to go for some renewers, either Soraka reroll, maybe Vlad reroll as well, uh, just as a side note, or we go for four renewers, uh, four invokers, um, if we can keep up a win streak and get to level eight quickly. Um, that's the plan today. I have tried this a couple times off stream um, and it's done, you know, pretty well for me actually. Um, definitely not the worst comp by any means, um, but I do still kind of fancy slow rolling and it gives me the option of doing that. Um, and it's just a good comp. I don't really have much more to lose. Obviously, I don't want to demo. Um, but at this point, like, well, kind of whatever. Let's try and get this tier if we can. There we go. Easy peasy. Hey, thanks for the follow host. 003112. 3112, 312. I appreciate that. Alright, so in terms of itemization, I am going for mostly Soraka items, but really anyone in this comp can hold any of the items since they're pretty much all ability power. Oh, a Soraka straight to start, that's great. Um We'll take a door bring a start. Pick up the Scragus. Um, I might keep the zero, uh, maybe I'll sell her, we'll see. But yeah, in terms of itemization, I'm looking for tiers, I'm looking for gloves, and I'm looking for rods, mostly. Um, and pretty much any permutation of those things, I'd be happy to build. Um, and yeah, like I said, they don't all have to be on, um... Soraka, they could be on Karma or Heimerdinger, anyone really, I mean it's all kind of all good, so we're pretty flexible in that regard as long as we do get ability power items and like that kind of thing, then we're all sorted. If we get damage items, we're, we're not too happy about that, but alright, here's a glove. I know I did say any permutation, um, but really I don't want to have justice. I think as a primary item, it wouldn't be too bad. That's true, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Question is, do we level here? Put in another Dormringer. What level are you for? You're for. I'm gonna hold off. And hope my Gragas 2 can carry uh, through. Luckily we fight another guy who's level 3. He's got two knights and a level, well, two star Aatrox. I think the Aatrox is probably stronger than my Gragas, so he probably does win here. Especially because he built an item and I didn't. Hopefully we can kill one unit, but with this Aatrox frontlining, I don't think we can. God, Aatrox got... Uh, nerfed but it really feels like he just got buffed he's just still bonkers especially early level um we'll take the sword we can make that shojin and i think i'll go ahead and buy uh build that straight away it's a pretty good item and i'd want to build an item as early as possible really here to keep us afloat um, as far as possible. I'm thinking this glove will be a jeweled gauntlet if I have my way. Um, and yeah, we're off to a decent start. Um, I could have two star um, Soraka, but we don't have that and that's fine. But we did get an early Soraka, so that does make our life easy. And we got a decent Dawnbringer renewal start, so I'm not too mad about it. course, whether it'll be enough to actually 
get us through the early game is yet to be seen. I think Trojans actually will be really good to build um, in this comp because especially if we go down the Invoker route, which we inevitably will, um, just because Invokers gives you more mana anyway, so if you're combining that with, um, sorry, uh, combine that with Trojan, Invoker and Trojan, then you just get loads of mana back. All right, is this lad really doing a lot? I guess he's doing as much as anyone else, really. Yeah, we'll want to put in the Syndra at some point for invokers, but we won't really have any because the rest of them are four costs and um, obviously Teemo. So, not too great there. Alright, I think we do probably win this one. Our um, Kha'Zix is doing some pretty good damage while our tank's frontlined. Just sent it to get rid of. Okay, so not the best um, early game start, not the worst. We could be on lower health, uh, but we don't have a streak or anything. We're second pick. I want... Ooh... I want the rod, but not on Vladimir. He gets taken anyway. So we'll go for the tier again. I would like ability power items now, really. Um, I don't really want to build two mana items on Soraka. Unless one of them is like um, an Archangels or something. Because that's ability power as well. But yeah, I think I'd rather... Rather limit that. Um, question is, do we continue to not level and hope to pick up more? Or do we level? Let's level, get to level 6 and slow roll from here, I think. That's my plan. Because Vladimir 3 isn't really a big deal. So I'm not too worried about slow rolling level 5 or level 4 even. Uh, but Strakas level 6 is the best time to roll for her. So I think any time from now really is a good time. Slow roll I think we'll econ back up. Well, back up, we'll econ up. Um, hopefully we hit some Strakas on the way. Maybe some Vlads on the way. But we'll slow roll properly on level Six, I think. So yeah, nothing we want here. We're not going to touch the reroll button or anything. No reason to. But yeah, this comp kind of does rely on you having health because you do want to get to the late game if you want to maximize it. Um, and ideally, you want to get there with health so you can buy Teemos. Um, it's not necessary, but if you do want to go for Invoker, you're either going to have to buy Teemo or you're going to have to get an emblem, really, so... Yeah, it'd, it'd just be good to have... <laughs> to have health <laughs> when you get to the higher levels. Of course, you can pick Teemo up off the carousel, but you kind of have to be really lucky for all that kind of stuff to fall into place, so... Wouldn't really rely on it. Oh, can we kill Nautilus? Damn. The targeting in this game can be really frustrating sometimes, you know? Shame, so we don't go into the neutral run with any kind of streak. Bit unfortunate, but... Kind of is what it is. Um, ooh. You know, I say that I don't want to build a Hand of Justice, but it wouldn't actually be the worst, really, thinking about it. May well end up building something like that, but... Hand of Justice is kind of better for Heimerdinger. Even Syndra really could use it better. Grass Raka will be okay, but I'm kind of thinking like Jord Gauntlet, Hat, um, those kind of items. 
that, you know, hand adjusters would work alright actually. Gates, attack damage and ability power and healing. So, is it or did they change it? Both of the following, yeah, it's both. But one buff's increased. Okay. Well, maybe hand adjusters isn't too bad of a, of a plan. I will hold off. Also, let's just put in a Delia of a Syndra because then we can have four Dombringer. I think that's better. Um, yeah, we can see about that. Hand of Justice might be an idea, but I do definitely want an ability power item for like a proper one. I think if we get a hat, Hand of Justice is like fine. But I think I want some crit, um, some AP, and some tears, some mana. We've already got the mana. This will give us crit. And then we have um, a an AP item. I think I'll hold off and see what we get in the Radiant Armory. I will go for a rod, if possible, at the carousel, though. Right, that was a big loss. That's a bit unfortunate. They're already level 6. Um... That's Syndra 2. Let's level so we can put in our Syndra. She doesn't give any synergies, but... 2-star. Might as well play her. She's good at protecting our backline. We don't really have that much damage at the moment. Because um, Strak is not really going to be doing damage at 1-star with a mana item. She will eventually. Um, more slow roll for her now, so we'll start econing. 50 and then slow rolling after that hopefully no one else is playing her the two times i have tried this in this half of the set um i haven't actually been able to get Soraka 3 because i found other people have been testing her not for renewers but for dawnbringers usually i found one guy was even going for three star Soraka and they got her um it's a little unfortunate for me, but I still did pretty well in the end, so it wasn't too bad. All right, it's another Soraka. That's pretty good. I would like to get two star Soraka pretty soon, and then build our way up to three star, because three star isn't strictly necessary. Because we can put our items on someone else. Like I said, there's lots of options for item holders in this comp. So if we don't hit Soraka 3, it's definitely not the end of the world. But if Soraka is going to be item holding for us, we definitely want it to be uh, three starred. Certainly into the late game. It's less of a problem mid game, but she's just not going to be doing enough. Uh, one and two starred. So hopefully this guy who seems to be going Dawnbringers doesn't go for Soraka 3. You can have two star Soraka, that's fine. Um, as long as he doesn't contest us too much. Alright, so we're at Carousel, we get first prior. That works pretty nicely for me. Just say that. Okay, second prior, whatever. I would like a rod. Hopefully there's more than one here. There's definitely one. Okay, there's one. I'll take the glove if I can't get it, but please, 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 damn you! Sorry, that's just really annoying. <sighs> yeah, I'll take the glove just because I feel like that's going to be most useful. Because a lot of the other possible item holders work well with crit, so... Timo, Heimerdinger, Karma, they're all kind of good with crit items. Oh, sh poop. I keep uh, rolling over Rakan's because I just completely didn't register that he was a renewer. That's entirely my bad and might even cost me quite uh, significantly. Oop, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's a, that's a, that's a mistake. Because I have both times actually gotten three star Rakan 
I wasn't even rolling for him, but I was rolling for Soraka and I just um hit Rakan both times because nobody really goes for him. Alright. We really do need to get uh, some items being built soon though, so we'll, we'll hopefully get something usable at the armory. Um, and if not, we're building a hodge. Ooh, okay, great. Um, let's get the hat and then we can build the hodge pretty happily then we have our crit item. I could have gone the glove, but then I'd want another AP item probably, so. Mm, I will upgrade this uh, Nadelli just so we can have some extra strength. Um, there we go. I did also want to roll for Scracker too because we're going to need the damage and I do want to start uh, wind streaking now, if at all possible. We'll keep the slow roll up for Soraka 3, um, at least for a little bit, because all our guys are two-starred for the moment, um, and we're not super in a rush to put anyone in. Um, so yeah, we'll keep slow rolling, because Soraka's got all our items at the moment, and I would at least want to get um, another Soraka two-star just to replace if we decide that we want to give up on three star Soraka. Also, I know I said I wanted to win and we lost. That's a bit embarrassing, but sometimes I just hobby. <laughs> Can't do much about that. Oh, that's a good shot. Um, Revenant Invoker of Renewer. So we do have four Renewer now. We could take out for Dawnbringer and put it for four Renewer to Invoker. That would probably be better. However, these guys are only one star. I think if I get at least one of them to two star, I'll make the swap. But for now, I'll keep the Dawnbringers in. Okay, I'm not a fan of that cloak. That's kind of annoying. Okay, this is good though. We're getting Striker 2, so we may well hit Striker 3, fingers crossed. And we're getting a couple of Syndras too. Even with no items, Syndra 3 is still pretty useful. She gives extra stun duration um, and the damage is pretty good as well. So if we're just passively collecting her, I'm not mad about that. But once we hit uh, Soraka 3, I'm not going to keep rolling for Syndra 3 unless we are like one or two off maybe. It's really interesting. This guy's got a Vlad uh, holding combination of items I'm trying to think what he'd be going for let's have a look at the look at his comp the sinisters where are you for new one knights legion i don't know what he's doing really to be honest hard to tell and with those items you got a mix of damage and ap mostly ap but even so uh, let's go for the tier. We can get another hand of justice for someone else. Alright, this is pretty good so far with our rolling. I'm going to put the hand of justice on Adele. She'll be sold at some point, so she might as well item hold that. Since that's pretty much certain as to what we're going to build. All right, I'm fairly happy at the moment. I'd like to have a tiny bit more life, um, but we're on our way to get Soraka 3 and Sinja 3 also. So this Diana is going to ruin our day if um, Sinja can't lower her away. She can, so we might be all right. But Soraka does not have the damage yet. Uh, I say that. She has a decent amount, to be fair. We still lose this because of Yasuo. 
and Sergio just does not have the damage to deal with that, but overall, one unit loss, not too bad. Right, I don't know what we're going to do with this. Possibly a Chalice of Power would be pretty good, actually. If we get another tier. That would be a good use of it, actually. Okay, nothing yet. I don't want to roll down all my gold yet. Um, depending on how we go for life, I will either do a roll down 5-1, if we haven't hit yet, or 4-5 after the carousel. If we take a big loss here, we'll probably roll down 4-5, but if we seem to be already doing the right, I'll greed. Because most people are level 7 now, so we're going to start getting behind, especially since we haven't hit. Um, I'll probably start yet. This is a guy who's also going for Soraka's. He's going to beat us. It's going to be a pretty nasty one as well. Lost, that is. He's doing pretty well for himself there with 94 life. Feels bad to be us, and we hit our... <sighs> hit our bonus, so I think we are going to do a roll down to see if we can hit. Um... Hopefully we hit quite quickly and then we can level. And hopefully we get a good bonus with either lots of gold or like a Nikos or something. So that'd be pretty helpful. Alright, so we want to get a tier if we can. There are two tiers. We don't want to get the one on Rakan if we can help it. Because that'll upgrade our Rakan and we don't want that. There is a Teemo though, which is interesting. Teemo's been taken. So we can get this tier pretty nicely. And that's good because we can make a Chalice of Power that will buff up our Soraka. And eventually it'll buff up the Karma who will be in place of this uh, Kha'Zix. At least in positioning anyway. Tomb of Emelins. I'm kind of hoping that we get an Invoker one. As we do. That is gorgeous. Uh, let's just put it on... Him. No, let me... Let me hit... Oh, damn! A second too late. Okay, well, we've got Soraka 3. Um, and we got Sinter 3. Alright, perfect. We can level after this. In fact, I'll level now. Oops. Did one too many, that's my bad. Um, so we'll lose this one, I imagine, but we should have a decent spike after this one. Because I'll put in for Renewer as well. CC, it's nasty. But, can she do it? Oh, she did it! Oh my gosh, wow, that's really... Only two star, that's pretty impressive actually. Fair play to Soraka. And she's three star now, so that's lovely. Okay, let's put in four Renewer, three Invoker. Uh, we'll keep the Nadelli for now, because she is better than a one star. One cost even. We're three invokers, so we just need karma. Uh, it's quite probable that I will end up getting a Teemo later in the game, just because Teemo is a good unit. Um, but I'm glad that we got the emblem, just because... Um, oh, I should have moved my deli over there. Uh, just because it's also quite likely that we'll end up not having enough health. This guy's playing assassins, or at least he has some assassins, which is going to be problematic for us. Um, yeah, we really don't want that, because jumping to our back line is going to be rather annoying. Luckily, we do have Freestar Syndra and Freestar Soraka, so hopefully they can take some assassin crunching. Um, it would be nice to get, like, a Shoshin or something for Syndra as well, just so she can better protect Soraka. Um, but can't have everything 
If Circa is doing enough damage, then I probably will prioritize Syndra, but otherwise getting items for some of the other high level people like Karma and Heimerdinger would be good, so yeah, we'll see. I would have taken the Renoa Spat also over the Invoker probably had we had the option at the Armory thing, but we didn't. Okay, we get an Infinity Edge. That's an interesting prospect because I can put that on Syndra, right? And I can sell this Nadelli eventually, put the Hodge on Syndra, then Syndra's going to be doing a decent amount of damage herself, which definitely isn't a bad thing. Like, we do have a three star Syndra, we might as well itemize her to make the most of it, otherwise, it would pretty much be wasted gold. Um, so yeah, I will definitely look into that, but all we need now is a Karma, because she'll complete four Invoker and four Dawnbringer, and that would be really lovely. I say four, she wouldn't give us four Dawnbringer, would she? Because we'd be selling the Nadelli to get, to get that. This douche master guy, I don't know what he's doing. He's got this Invoker spat, fine, I guess. Do you even have any Invokers, though? Got three star Aatrox, which might honestly just be enough to just wreck us. I'll be I will be upset if this guy beats all of us. He doesn't. Good. Yeah, let's have a look at you, Dish Marshall. What are you building? Four Legionnaire, five redeem, two invoker. Okay, interesting. Uh ooh. Let's take the draw gauntlet, I think. Wonderful. Question is, Syndra. Mm. Yeah, Syndra. Put on Syndra, we could put the Hodge on like Heimerdinger. Okay, we want to be Econing so we can get to level 8, I think. I don't know why I picked up this Vladimir, we're not going to 3 star him, I don't think. But yeah, I could roll for Karma and stuff, but that would just be a bit reckless. Um, I'd want to get... Uh, what's his name? Rakan up to two star as well. But it, he's not worth rolling for, so. We'll wait till we have enough gold. Probably level 5-5. Five five. Um, maybe earlier if we get it. Oh yeah, look at this monstrosity. This is going to be a fun comp to hit properly. And I think we might be lucky enough to actually make it. Yeah, jeez, they're doing bonkers damage now. That's a nice sight, I'm glad. Because we were getting a little low in health and it was a bit worrying. 40 wasn't really where I wanted to be. But as long as we make it to top 4, I'm kind of happy. Because that means we don't demote. <laughs> Which would be nice. Like, I don't know. It's not a big deal. I honestly don't have that high hopes for making it to Diamond this set. Obviously I'd like to and I'm not going to stop trying or anything, but... I don't know, I think it's just quite likely that we're not going to be able to do it because we've been on a slump for quite a while. It's been a slow climb, um, I guess because I haven't been maximizing climbing potential. Like if I just picked a comp, just forced it, like a strong winnable comp, forced it all the way to diamond, yeah, I could have done it with enough games, right? But that's not fun and I am here to have fun at the end of the day, so. This is fun. <laughs> I may end up doing this more than once, I think. Uh, on stream, anyway. She says that she's probably about to lose. That's a nasty lesion. Yeah, that's rough. But either way, it's still fun. It's nice to do kind of different comps every now and then that aren't really the usual that everyone's going for. Alright, uh, we should probably get some tank items, actually. Or, hear me out, tank Teemo. If no one picks up that Teemo, I'm going to. Oh yeah, let's go. Free Teemo. So, he can give us four invokers. We don't need the Karma, but I will be playing the Karma. Alright, let's get rid of... 
Then let's level. Put in the karma. Uh, we've got five invokers, but you know it's not a problem. Uh, who else are we missing? Uh, in our comp. I guess Heimerding if renewers, but. We don't have a renewer spot, so we're not going to get six. He would just replace. Um, towards his face. Vladimir. Um, so now we want to roll for some two stars. And probably find someone to replace this Gragas with. Um. Or we could potentially go to level 9 here, actually, and play some extra legendaries. Because a strong legendary comp, we could play like HIV, and that would be pretty strong. Since we already have Ivan, and we're planning on running Heimerdinger. Just uh, swap this guy out for Volibear, that would be pretty good. Um, okay, I was hoping to hit um, some legendaries there, but that didn't happen, so. Oh no, you got rid of the wrong one, you got rid of the wrong one, Syndra. You did take the Nocturne away. Yeah, assassins are a problem for this comp. In fairness, Soraka did a good job. Um, because uh, the Hodge let her heal, which was worthy investment, because we're still alive. Only one guy needs to get out now, um, for us to make top four. Uh, sure, Garen can go in over thingy for now, but I won't keep it that way. Another Infinity Edge. I'll just probably give that to Timo. He's got random items anyway. <laughs> Ability power would be better for him, but... Ah, yeah, whatever. Who cares? Oop. Oop. He's already got a crit item anyway, so we might as well... Oh, that's Ivan, not the Infinity Edge. Um, comma. Turkan. It's a Teemo as well. I'm not going to go for Teemo too because I don't really have the life. It would take 12 life off me and I'd be at 10 and that's just a bit, a bit too much. Let's give up on Rakan 3 actually, I've decided. He won't really contribute too much. Like, he'll do some extra damage, extra healing. Which is nice, don't get me wrong, but... I think I'd rather spend my gold looking for... Some legendaries to round out the comp. Because it's getting a little tight every time, and we're running low on life to do that, so... Syndra, did you want to... You know, get rid of her any earlier? Oh, damn it. Okay, we can probably take one more loss, I think. But we've made it to top three. Hey! That's pretty good. That's Karma 2. I'm happy with that. Um. Okay, no Ivan upgrade and no Heimerdinger yet. But this is not bad comp and we made it to top three. So whatever happens now, I'm happy. Uh, let's move people around though real quick, because there is an assassin's guy. Uh, god, can you help please? Do this? There we go. That was not good moving, but hopefully, yeah, the nocturne, ugh, he'll still hit us, let's be real. Assassins are just really hard to position around, because whatever you do, they're just gonna jump to your back line, wherever you are. Um... So yeah, I think we probably lose lose them here. Unless, unless 
bonkers, 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 bonkers. We beat Sam. That's pretty good for us. Pretty good. Who are you fighting? Don't know, but you lost. That's good. I thought that was over for that, uh, for a sec. I didn't even move people properly. But I guess it didn't make a difference, just that extra second to get away from lockdown. He's moved now. Um, Nadelli's there. I think, assuming we're going to fight this guy, our positioning's fine. Uh, for him, I'd want to move... Oh, he's got a... Viego. Uh, Sam's going to be a problem for us, I think. I'm not sure we can beat him apart from chance, really. He's got a strong team. Our team's not too bad. It's fairly strong, but... Both of these guys... Uh fine enough to lose to, I think, were the opponents. As long as Timo's the last one alive, we should win. Regardless. Okay, we beat him. Dr. Sam, who are you fighting? Don't know. There's another Timo that's interesting. Uh, I think I want the Infinity Edge, though. Give some extra damage to Karma. Or, you know, some damage full stop, actually, because she hasn't gotten any. Uh, really, I should have some tank items. That would probably be, be smart of me. Because at the moment, I only have damage. Uh, let's take this Heimerdinger. Uh, I'm still going to give this to... Karma. I think. Yeah, this is not really the best. Um, but. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I forgot to position against these guys, so I'm out here for for realsies. Hopefully, oh, if that team of stream went off, we could have maybe killed another. And it's a shame that Dr. Sam won. Because um, we were... That was, very, that was a very close game. But I'm happy with that place. That doesn't team out me. It gives me a little bit more wiggle room to play with. Um, I think I probably will be doing that that comp again. I think it's quite fun. It's a nice little break. Not many people play it either. A hey, tidy 20 LP. That's pretty much what we lost uh, last game. Um, yeah, that's not that's not too bad. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. All right. Thanks again, host, for following me. I really appreciate that. It helps out a lot. Hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.